Hi, I'm Tom Stewart for Cleaning Business Today. In our last KPI session, we showed how to calculate weekly reoccurring revenue gained or lost. In the example we used last time, we showed how you can add a weekly customer, add a bi-weekly customer, add a monthly customer, and take the revenue per job and translate it into weekly revenue basis. And we even showed if you lost a bi-weekly customer and put that revenue in on a weekly basis as a negative, you could wind up with a, still a fairly impressive number, $162.50 a week. This week we're going to show how you can take the weekly revenue gained or lost number and plug it into a spreadsheet over a period of time. In this case we're going to do 52 weeks or one year and show what it looks like uh, over, over the course of a year. This first column we're going to assume that we're, the revenue gain $162.50 uh, is constant throughout the year. In reality it won't be. This number will go up and down week after week. But for this purposes we will. So we're doing that number all the way down for uh, 1 to 50, week 1 to 52. We're going to add another column where we're showing what our weekly revenue would weekly revenue gain would look like if we were adding 162.50 uh, a week. And from week to week, this number here in this column goes up another uh, $162.50. So if I get all the way to the end of the year, my revenue has increased $8,450. Uh, pretty impressive number especially given the fact that all I had to do was have a net gain of two extra customers a week in order to to realize that $8,450 annual or weekly revenue gain. What does that look like over the course of the year? Basically all these numbers in this second column here you would add up in this cumulative column so by the end of the year my revenue would be $223,000 higher than it was the prior year before. Now that growth took place over the course of that year. By the time you get to week 52, you're doing an extra $8,400 more than what you were the year prior. So if I go over just one more column on an annual basis, which is really just taking uh, this weekly number, multiplying it times 52, our uh, revenue gained or anticipated revenue gain going into uh, the next year would be over $400,000. Weekly revenue gained or lost, very important metric. We showed you how to calculate that in our last meeting. In this meeting, if you take it and you plug that number on a weekly basis into a spreadsheet like this, you can calculate what your uh, annual growth rate is for the current year and project it going out into the following year as well. Hope this uh, KPI tutorial was useful to you. Thank you for using Cleaning Business today.